Hey, welcome to Backyard Grilling here on Next Tech Local One. And today we're making one of my favorite things on the smoker, pork butt. I love to make pork butts. They're cheap. There's a lot of it here. So it feeds you like for three or four days. And they're super, super simple. And it's hard to screw them up. So I love to make pork butts. Today we're going to make a little different kind of pork butt. We're actually going to do a smoked pork butt chili verde or green chili or Colorado chili or whatever. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to be using, I kind of picked a smaller pork butt just because um, you know, uh, that way we don't have so much left over. So this one's about six pounds. Uh, it's a shoulder butt roast. Some of them are called Boston butt roasts, butt roast. Um, and this is actually the bone in. So I like to get the ones with the bone in. I don't know if it adds flavor, but in my mind it does. So we're going to say it does. So what we're going to do is just take the packaging off of it. And I'm going to try to keep it so a lot of that juice and stuff stays in the bag because we really don't want it. Just like so. I'll set this down here. Okay, so we've got our pork butt out of the bag and all we're gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda take a rag and kind of make sure it's all cleaned off a little bit. And then we're also gonna put one down on our tray and that just kind of keeps it from sliding around. Okay, just like so. So what we're gonna do, you can, uh, a lot of times when I make my pork butt, we'll use our, tr our traditional rub that we use kind of on pretty much everything. Salt, a lot of peppers, paprika, a lot of that type of stuff. On this one, we're gonna keep it really simple. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use the, what we call SPG. So it's just salt, pepper, garlic. Um, works really good on this because it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, I usually just make up my own uh, rub mix with the salt and pepper and the garlic. Uh, typically what I go by is quarter, quarter cup. So it's a quarter cup of garlic, quarter cup of pepper, and then a full cup of kosher salt. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rub that on the pork butt, pretty liberal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put down, some people use olive oil, some use mustard. Um, my thought is if you're gonna put something on it, you might as well put something on it with some flavor. So we're just gonna use some of this uh, Red Hot. And all we're gonna do is just use it to kind of rub on there. So when we go and put on our, our rub mix, it sticks really good. You're not going to pick up a ton of the flavor from this. But it'll kind of help our salt and pepper and garlic and all that kind of stuff stick to it. I'm going to stay away from the bottom. Um, that's got the big kind of fat cap on it. And uh, we're going to put that down on the grill so we don't need to worry about, you know, seasoning that up too much but I'm gonna go ahead and do all the other sides and the ends. Now then, when I go to put on my seasoning, it should stick to it a lot better. Like I said, we're gonna put this on there pretty liberal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off so it'll go a little quicker. Pretty big piece of meat, so don't worry about putting too much on. And we're just gonna kinda pat it in there. I like to use the kosher salt because it's a bigger flake and you can kinda see how much you're putting on. You know, if it was just regular table salt, it's really fine. So it's kind of hard to tell how much you're getting on there. So uh, like I said, I like to use a kosher salt for that reason. And don't worry about using too much. 
Okay. I think we're good to go. Now then, if you wanted to, you could do this ahead of time and let it kind of sit in the fridge. Um, and that all will kind of soak in. But if you can kind of see, that really kind of soaked into the meat pretty good. So um, that kind of, that's the reason why we put that hot sauce on there to kind of help that process because it really makes that stick. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw this on the grill. I've got my grill set at about 250 degrees. We're going to smoke this for six hours. So all we care about is really just kind of getting that smoke infused into this big old chunk of meat. And uh, we're going to take it off the grill and I'll show you what we do with it after that. So don't go away. At Rogers & Associates Insurance, we serve the Midwest. We offer home, auto, commercial, and farm insurance policies and provide solid options for life and health insurance. For those unexpected life events like hail, wind, deer crashes, fender benders, and the little things in between, we can help you ensure what matters most in your life. Let us help you design a plan that meets your needs and budget. Visit us online or call us at 1-800-569-0118 to learn more. Storage Solutions is now offering premier portable buildings built locally in Greensburg and made to withstand the Kansas weather. These unique buildings can be more than just a storage shed and are as large as 16 by 40 feet. Their 30-year warranty offers flooring and walls that won't rot, splinter, or crack and are finished with a urethane paint. Multiple purchasing options are available. Visit Storage Solutions of Hayes to view models or go online to customize your building today. Working right by your side, helping our local communities and families where People State Bank. We support farmers harvesting in nearby fields. We are coaches of youth sports programs, and we are organizing church fundraisers. We volunteer in our schools. We shop local, and we're an advocate for a strong rural lifestyle. We want to grow our partnership with you and work together to achieve your goals. Stop in and see us today. People State Bank, proud to serve your hometown. The team at Homestead Assisted Living is a proud supporter of the Hayes community. Located just west of the Sternberg Natural History Museum, Homestead is a warm and welcoming community where residents receive compassionate care from licensed professionals. If you're curious about senior living options for yourself or a loved one, make Homestead your first call. Our kind and courteous staff would love to show you around and answer any questions you may have. Call us today to schedule a tour of Homestead or visit us online at homesteadofhays.com. Hey, welcome back to Backyard Grilling here on Next Tech Local One, and we're outside and we're making smoked pork green chili or smoked pork chili verde or chili Colorado, I'm, however you want to do it, I don't care. So I like to say green chili. So what we're doing is just a little bit of recap. We took our pork butt, we covered it really well with some hot sauce, and then we put a lot of SPG on there salt, pepper, garlic, covered it really good. We put it on the grill. The grill set at about 250 degrees. It's been on there for about six to seven hours. Um, we really don't care about the internal temp. If you wanted to punch it, you could. It's probably about 150, 60, 65, somewhere in there. Um, but now we're gonna take it out and we're gonna cover it and we're gonna start the braise of this. And this is what's really gonna start to break this down and make it tender. So, I'm gonna try to take this off without burning myself. Ha <laughs> ha! And I did it. All right, so this is our pork butt that has been on the grill for about six hours, somewhere in there. Like I said, about 250 degrees. If we did punch it, we are about 155. We could have gone a little longer. It didn't matter. But now we're going to start to put in our liquid, and this is really going to start to braise this. So the first thing that we're going to put in is I'm going to put in just some regular chicken broth. And I'm just going to cover this pretty good. I'm going to put in about half a can. 
Next thing we're going to put in is this is a can of green chili enchilada sauce. Um, this comes in like mild, hot, medium. Um, if it was me, I would have done the hot, but I know that we have other people here today, so we went with the medium. So we're just going to pour that over the top. This is a 15 ounce can of that. We're going to pour that over the top. Next thing we're going to put on there is a can of fire roasted peeled green chilies. We're just going to sit that whole can over the top of it. Doesn't this look good? Next thing we're going to put on there is what I did was I got a jar of this roasted salsa verde. And you could make this yourself if you wanted. Buy a bunch of tomatillos, grind them up, but it was easier just to do this. And like I said, this was all about making this really simple. This comes in medium and mild and hot and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, this is a medium sauce and we're just gonna pour this over the top. They have lots of different kinds out there. There we go. We got a full pan. Look at that. Can you see that? We have our chicken broth, our chilies, that looks good. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get some aluminum foil. We're gonna cover this up really tight. And that way when we put it on the grill, it will braise. We almost needed a bigger thing of aluminum foil because I'm gonna have to layer it now because we don't want any, we want this to keep all the steam in there it possibly can. Because that's what's gonna make that braise and all that yummy stuff we just put on. We're going to use one more just for good measures. There we go. So we're going to put this back on the grill. You know, if you wanted to, since this thing has already spent six hours on the grill smoking, you could put this in the oven. You could put it in the mic. No, you can't put it in the microwave. That'd be like, that'd be wrong. Why would you want to put it in the microwave? Anyway, you could put it in the oven. You could put it in a crock pot or something like that. And you could finish it up the rest of the way. We're going to go for about another two, three hours. We're gonna keep the grill at about 250. If you wanted to bump it up to about 300, 350, it'll go a little quicker. And, but this is the easy part here. So we're gonna put this back on the grill. We're gonna take another break and when we come back, we're gonna try this. And I'm like pumped about that. So don't go away. When we come back, we'll give that a shot. A step towards better at High Plains Podiatry, the team's greatest joy is seeing you doing what you love to do. Dr. Rob Hens addresses all problems of the foot and ankle with leading edge capabilities. They travel extensively serving in satellite clinics near you. Their growth in southwest Nebraska is a direct result of the caring and personal treatment they give their patients. Let High Plains Podiatry bring the pep back in your step. Now seeing patients in Norton and Colby, Kansas. Call today, 877-345-3668. Kansas weather can be brutal on your home's exterior. A dry and watertight roof performance is a result of choosing the right contractor. At AquaShield Roofing and Construction, we use the most up-to-date products and efficient technology. We offer quality services, professional installation, and unmatched warranties, adding value to your home and providing years of trouble-free protection. Call AquaShield Roofing and Construction for a free estimate today.
From senior trips to toddler adventures and youth sports, the Hayes Recreation Commission is your one-stop shop for fun. Check out all the fall and winter brochure for a complete list of scheduled events and classes. The fun times continue in the HRC Wellness Center where you can enroll in personal training and memberships. The HRC provides fun and fitness for all ages. Find them at hayesrec.org, call or stop by and learn more. Working right by your side, helping our local communities and families, we're People State Bank. We support farmers harvesting in nearby fields. We are coaches of youth sports programs, and we are organizing church fundraisers. We volunteer in our schools. We shop local, and we're an advocate for a strong rural lifestyle. We want to grow our partnership with you and work together to achieve your goals. Stop in and see us today. People State Bank, proud to serve your hometown. The best part of our technology doesn't come from smartphones. It comes from a powerful network backed by infrastructure that we're always improving. We invest in this network so that you get the most from your technology. It's a network that's going anytime, anywhere, for anything and anyone. Next Tech Wireless, keeping you connected. Hey, welcome back to Backyard Grilling here on Next Tech Local One, and we're making chili verde, smoked pork chili verde. We've had our pork butt on the grill. It's been smoking for about six hours. Then we put it in our aluminum container, and we filled it full of all that salsa verde, enchilada sauce, green chilies, and I think, oh yeah, we used a can of chicken stock too. So. That's been on the grill and it's been braising for about two hours, maybe a little bit more. We kind of gave it a poke. It feels like it's really broken up and everything. So we're gonna take it off of the grill. <laughs> Just like that. Now we're gonna tear into this. Now, at home, if you're gonna make this, we really would advise you to just let this set for about an hour before you tore into it. But it's TV, man. We want to try it. We're hungry. We've been out here all day. Not really. So let's peel some of this off. Make sure you're careful here because it should release a lot of steam. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Doesn't that look good? Look at that. Smoked pork butt and all that yummy goodness. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of pull this apart right here in all of that juice. Matter of fact, this is how you know how good you did. Let's see if we can pull our bone out. If I can get a hold of it. See there? And we're just going to pull it apart in that juice. If you want to be cool about it, we're going to get our handy dandy look at my claws. We can just pull this apart in that juice. There we go. We'll do a better job later. We're going to kind of let that go in there. I'm making a mess, but it's a good mess. Okay, we better dish some up here. We're 
We're going to put some in our bowl here. Probably better get a spoon. You know, get some of that juice off of there. Perfect. That's what's good about this. You can make it and it goes with just about anything. So what we're gonna do, I've got these little cool little street taco tortillas. Perfect. We can take some of this. Put it on our little tortilla. Put a little cheese on there. A little cilantro. Even put a little sour cream on there. A dollop will do. And there we go. We've got our own little street taco with smoked pork chili verde. Mm. Okay, that's the bomb. I could eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, super easy, guys. Super easy, but awesome. So, make sure you join us again on next or on Backyard Grilling. Um, if you want to watch any of our old episodes, make sure you go out to YouTube. They're all out there. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and you got to try this at home. It's that good and it's that easy. So, hope you join us again right here on Backyard Grilling. Oh, Aubrey, this was 